Mississippi surgeon Lance Johansson is not about to accept his nor his daughter's tragic fate. He's now demanding to know why nothing was done to protect his beautiful Lauren. Today, I really think that a lot of things could have been done different and my daughter would be alive right now. The heartbroken father asking a judicial panel why his warnings fell on the court's deaf ears and why the man accused of doing this was able to walk out of jail and head straight toward his daughter again. I gave her a hug and kissed her goodbye. It was something so common for Katie Jo Hansen and her big sister Lauren, but this hug and kiss felt different. When I was going to bed, she kind of had a worried look on her face. What Katie didn't know was that the ex-boyfriend who was behind bars, accused of severely beating her sister on a weekend trip to Nashville, had suddenly been released from jail on a $150,000 bond, putting Lauren in grave danger. She was like, okay, well, I love you, good night. And then all this happened. And that's the last time you saw her? Mm -hmm. It's exactly what Dr. Johansson was so worried about. I sat there with the judge and I told her, he's hit my daughter a hundred times. He took these photos of his daughter after he says she was brutally attacked for over an hour before police could stop him. At that moment, did you think that they had heard you about what a danger it would be to release this man? When I left there, I felt confident that they were gonna keep him there. Not only did the exact opposite happen, almost an entire week passed before Lance received a message from the Nashville District Attorney's Office that would destroy him. Bryson Rivers was released from custody and he has not been heard from, so I wanna make sure that Lauren is safe and that you all take proper precautions. The minute I heard it, I was pretty sure that Lauren was already dead. A judge lowered Bryson's bond, but gave strict conditions upon his release. He was ordered to stay put in Tennessee and away from Lauren in Mississippi, nearly 500 miles away. He was not to be released after 4 p.m. and had to use a specific GPS monitoring company. Not a single one of the conditions was followed. It's bad enough that he's released, but they don't even know where he is. Right, I mean, it's just disgusting. Then a horrifying discovery. Lauren's dead body is found inside the back of her SUV. Bryson Rivers is captured about a mile away. It was really hard when we found out that it was her. We were in the car and I guess I just didn't know what to do. This photo of Lauren with her cat was shot by little sister Katie a day before the brutal murder. Now the family's last loving memory as Bryson Rivers is back behind bars, charged with murder. Were you aware from anyone that Mr. Rivers wasn't supposed to leave Davidson County? No, sir, I was not. True Crime News was at the judicial review of the bond company's role in Bryson's release. But up until today, just a few minutes ago, you've never seen a filled out copy of this order no employees were asked repeatedly why specific orders from the judge were ignored i understand you're blaming the sheriff's department clerk's office do you feel like you were negligent in any way i feel like that had i known he wasn't supposed to leave nashville that that wouldn't have happened no answers will ever bring back lauren the judge makes this terrible decision, but all the people from the top to the bottom, nobody in the system was able to even enforce what the judge did. Following my interview with Dr. Joe Hansen, I sat down with Louis Bolaños. He's a former homicide investigator who's been following this case very closely, and he's also a volunteer as a victim's advocate. This is a complete injustice. Well, look, just one of those people had to do their job, and she would be alive today. Just one would have done their job. So, you know, those conditions to meet bail are more than just words on a paper. Those are things that you have to do your due diligence to make sure they are met. But I also have to tell you that part of this is because the bond industry is a complete mess. It's a nightmare. 
and they're just one of the ugly tentacles that caused Lauren's death. So Dr. Johansson has talked about his frustration with the system and how he wants to change it, and he's working on Lauren's law. What could be some of the things that could be in Lauren's law? To make sure that if there's a court order that you're supposed to have a GPS monitoring device put on you, that that happens within the jail confines. I think the minute law enforcement becomes aware or the bail company becomes aware that the person who's been bonded is supposed to have a GPS device on, as soon as they become aware that device has been disconnected, they need to send a response team, a protection team to the victim immediately first. Now, we want to hear what you think. Check us out on social media at My True Crime News and share your thoughts on the case.